Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so fast? Shoo! Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're throwing on the why I laugh so hard. <laughs> yeah, that was just funny. I don't know why. That was not planned, by the way. I parked over there. He parked over there. I just walked up on him. Who but are you? you're on shoe duty, so shoe. you gotta figure it out. So. I didn't wear the shirt. We're go really? Really? Sorry, you got merch, though. Beefcake merch. And. Well, it's oh, it's sunny snap. out of here. You're wearing it. I'm wearing it, finally. Okay. So this this hat's been available the whole time. All right, how do I look? You can't even see it. The well, this thing's been available this whole time, and Banjo basically stole it and then lost it, and so I just got one back. So you guys are seeing it on my channel for the first time, but this thing is available. So if you guys like the sun hat idea, I love it personally. I've been rocking like the normal, that's also my favorite like normal hat for sure. Um, but this, I mean, look at the sun. It's right, it's gleaming into my soul right now. This protects it, and oh, hang on, we gotta, I gotta show you something important real quick. There you got it. Pull this little guy here, this little doohickey. Where you at? There he is. Yep. So you didn't know this existed, did you? Oh, snap. See, mullets are making a comeback, all right? For those of you like me who don't have a mullet, now you can get a mullet. Look at that. You didn't know we sold hats with mullets, but here you go. It's actually for sun protection, uh, but for some reason today, I think I'm just gonna rock it, at least today in the Menards. But yeah, a little secret compartment for those of you guys. But it'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check out Beefcake merch, shirts, hats, bunch of other stuff. If there's any products that you wanna see Beefcake merch or just Beefcake in general come out with, let me know in the comment section down below. But click the link down below, use promo code FLAIR to get 15% off of your entire Beefcake order. Link down below, go check it out today. We're going to Menards because we gotta buy some wood, some tools, bolts, nuts, all that stuff, because we are building a giant floating dock for the backyard pond, you guys stay tuned. Totally forgot, uh, you have to wear a mask in Menards, so hey, shout out to Menards for selling masks. But we are getting, uh, like, so we're building a dock, we're gonna end up buying a bunch of different stuff, but starting with this one, this is like one of the most important important item um, that I have no idea if it's actually gonna work. It's just what me and Pooljet came up with. Giant 10 inch hinges. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna design a dock. It's basically gonna be a one square. We're thinking like 10 by 10. And then we're gonna have a 12 by four walkway. Basically, this is going to connect the walkway to the dock itself. Again, no idea if it's the strat. I feel like it'll work. So we're gonna have a couple of these guys. All right, so actually, Menards has an area for this. Now we're not gonna buy an actual dock kit. We are going to homemade make this because I also already have floats. These floats are okay. I bought some like really good industrial size floats. But what we do need is this guy, which this holds, it's called a pipe sleeve. It's gonna hold everything together. You run a pipe through there and it keeps your dock from going back. Of course, we're gonna need that. And then you need these augers, which this auger, you stick basically a pipe through it and then you can drill it down in the ground. So we need that, we need that. That. and then we have inside corner brackets. We're gonna buy a few of those, whether we actually need them or not, we're not really sure, but like, so this thing is completely handmade. What's this guy? Float hardware. Do you think that would work for our float? Oh, probably. You think so? I mean, I feel like they're pretty universal. They're probably right? about the same. They just have holes in it. We could just buy that. It's only five bucks. Wow, Menard's making it easy out here. Is it five bucks for only one float? Or how many floats do for you think this it, guy. it carries though? Probably just fucking one. <laughs> no, I mean, it shows a whole bunch in there. Pull out, pull out what's on top of it. Oh, hey. Does it just have, no, that's for oh. like, that's gotta be for at least a couple, right? Or is it this, just this one? This is probably one float here. One floaty? Do we trust that or do we want to do our own thing? I mean, so you think, it, you it think, would make it a lot easier. It'd probably make it easier. They have, there's a similar to mine. Mine, I, I looked at mine, mine have holes like that as well, so. Do they have like fixed holes or do they have that one that there's was like There's bo both. They have, okay. like on the corners they have the fix and then on the, in the, oh, middle, the middle they have one, this, they have this the like. So let's just, we'll get, I mean, worst case, we'll use it for something else. So we're gonna load up the cart. Shoo! Well folks, it has been quite the adventure. It is brighter than heck out here. I am blinded by the light. It's been quite the adventure to acquire wood. The last time I talked to you guys was like two weeks ago, trying to get wood. Turns out no one near me sells decking wood because everybody's inside from COVID and wants to build a deck. But we waited like two weeks and we found the mother load, folks. We bought as much wood as we possibly could. Decking material, it's two by sixes and then it's like the, I guess they're one by sixes, like five fourths of an inch. Uh, the deck boards and they're all treated. So we loaded the trailer up and this is what we've got to work with plus what we got earlier in today's video as you guys saw and essentially today's plan is going to be build a giant dock for the backyard pond so we've kind of gone back and forth with sizes trying to figure out what size we want here's the uh here's the stuff you saw us buy it looks about the same as what we bought i don't think it's too much different hopefully but we're going back and forth in the size originally i designed this thing to be 10 by 10 with a 4 by 12 walkway and these are the floats that we have here which these guys are four by three and so these are these are like the biggest basically floats that i could possibly find like i think they have maybe like a 
couple like four or five footers i'm not sure but super expensive we're doing it the right way like i'm not doing this the cheap way i wish i could do it the cheap way trust me um but i mean i think these floats alone like 1500 bucks so far i think we've spent at least 1500 bucks in wood and whether we use all the wood or not i'm not sure but like i mean we're up there three four grand just for this freaking docks we want to do it the right way so right here we've got a marker board we need to kind of design what we want to build today like i said originally i was going to do 10 by 10 and then a 12 foot walkway four feet wide but all of the boards we bought every single board is 12 feet long so i'm like why don't we just make a 12 by 12 so that means you're talking 144 square feet nah it's pretty tough 144 square feet so i mean you're talking like these guys are like eight by almost 10 so you're talking two more feet and then like four more feet i mean it's basically like this area right here i mean it's this thing is gonna weigh a thousand pounds there's no way pool jet and i are lifting this thing up banjo i don't know what banjo's doing he's on he's on a business call somewhere i'm not sure he didn't show up today i was like all right cool well we're gonna build this dock anyways uh we might only get to framing it in and kind of getting getting a good start we might not finish it there's probably zero percent chance that pool jet and i are gonna be able to lift it up put it on a trailer and take it out of the pond and install it today maybe tomorrow i don't have my excavator right now but i think it's supposed to be here today or tomorrow we're thinking about like picking it up and then like setting it on a trailer with that i don't even know if the excavator will be able to lift it up that thing like it's kind of sketchy picking things up like that i'm not sure once we get it built that is i mean the plan today is getting it bolt built the plan tomorrow will be somehow transporting it down to the pond so with that being said let's get to designing millie what do you think you think we should go 12 by 12 or 10 by 10 i mean big chungus like like millie she's gonna want actually lucy she's probably gonna like this the most because this is gonna be her runway and then she's gonna be able to dive off of it and do duck dog things i guess huh so you want it big you want a 12 by 12 is that what you're telling me okay all right dope so okay hey, can you just relax for two seconds hey i gotta design this i'm an architect or something All right, anyway, so here is the design. You wanna design it? Here, here, take the take the pen. All right, go ahead and start drawing. No, you gotta draw. Hey, no, you gotta put it right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I thought she was gonna design this thing for us. I guess not. All right, let me do it. No, no. Hey, I don't need either one of you guys' help right now. You want this? You, all right, well, no, oh, oh, give me the cap. You're gonna choke and die. All right, this is a disaster. Let's get up somewhere high where these dogs can't mess with me. All right, so here's gonna be the dock 12 by 12 something like that and then if it's 12 that means you're doing four means you're four here so probably like this and four in like this so essentially that's going to be the design so what you're going to do is you're going to have 12 you're going to have 12 and then these are also going to be 12 and then this is going to be by four so four feet wide by 12 feet long 12 feet long so we're going to be 24 feet we're going to be 24 feet into the water so the other question is we've got four foot floats actually they are three by four foot floats so we got to decide how we want to do this you're going to want one on the corner so actually what here's probably what i would do since you're going to be four feet in this is going to be four feet that's going to be four feet and that's four feet four plus four plus four equals so your float is actually going to be right about here and it's going to go about three feet so it's going to come up like this and it's going to go like this and then same thing you're going to go down three feet and then over four and then you're going to go down three feet and over four and then you're going to go up three feet and over four so this is a float that's a float that's a float and that's a float then you've got this guy going on right here which is four feet so you've got four footers to span across the whole way and you've got three of them so you've got nine feet which means you would have three or one foot gaps so you're probably going to want to float here and then you're going to space a foot and then you have another float there space a foot and then eh, close hang on Gotta start at the other end. Don't worry. I'll get, I'm an architect, I promise. This is a good design. So you're probably gonna want your first float to be four feet by three feet. So that's, this is one float. And then your other one's probably gonna be here. And then your other one's gonna be here. So float and float. So these are gonna be your gaps, right? One foot gap. So one float, two float, three float, four feet by three feet and 12, and then four more floats. Okay. So this is the design of the float pattern. So this is the design of the float pattern, if that makes sense. All right, so erase the floats, keep the overall design, because now we need to kind of lay out. Actually, we probably should just do this on the ground. What do you think? Do you think it'd be easier if we just started throwing wood around, or do you think we should try drawing this out like professionals? What would you do, pool jet? I'd say we just lay it out. You think just lay it out? Yeah. 
Cause you're gonna want, yeah, let's just start laying it out. I think cause you're not gonna be, you're, there's always gonna be mishaps and stuff by doing this. You guys get the idea. For me mentally, I know what's going on. Um, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay everything out 12 by 12 by 12. We're going to build the walkway and then the, the pad, the dock itself separate. Um, so let's just focus on the dock because the walkway, I mean, that could be built by really anything at a different time. If for some reason we run out of wood or have complications, but the big floating dock itself is number one priority for me. So let's go ahead and get everything laid out. Folks, well, we've, uh, I mean, as always, anytime we're building stuff, there's always a little bit of complications. One being that this, even though this is 12 foot, okay? And these are four, four, four. So you would think three of these side by side would be 12 feet. Well, it's not, it's a little bit more than 12 feet. So we're gonna have to improvise and you can see we added an extra, uh, whatever, six by two by two by six by 12 right there and then right there, which I mean, that's only gonna give us a little bit of middle support. We've kind of changed our plans a little bit initially. I was only gonna do four floats. And then once I realized how much space was unsupported by the floats, I figured throw one right in the middle. That leaves us two for the walkway. I still think that's gonna be enough. The walkway doesn't need to support that much weight because as you're walking, it, it distributes it along the way. Plus like the dock is where you're gonna have multiple people sitting, maybe a fish feed or whatever it might be. So we ended up changing our design a little bit. We've got five floats. We've got it framed up decent. Or we've got one problem. And that is, I mean, I don't know, $200 worth of the hardware that we bought at the store for this being that these screws don't fit. Like there's literally like a half an inch left to get into here from here once you put the washer in, which I literally bought these. It was like a whole kit that was four floats like these and it just doesn't work. So we're gonna have to run to the store, get longer lag screws for this project. And then I don't, and then, oh, and then also I bought a nail gun. I don't know if I vlogged that or not, but I bought a nail gun and well, check this out because you guys probably aren't gonna believe me, but I bought a brand new nail gun from Menards Classic and I bring it home today. <laughs> And I open it and I didn't even notice when I grabbed it that there was no seal. Like I didn't even notice. And this box kind of looks beat up, but I didn't think much. We were kind of in a hurry. Millie, watch this. Open this thing up, okay? You're thinking, okay, well cool. There's a nail gun in here that's wrapped in plastic. But if you take the nail gun out, what you're gonna notice is that it is used. Look at this. Look at all the marks on this thing. It is dirty, it is crusty. It is used. Look at all these marks. I'm not making this up for video or anything. Like literally me and Pooljet, we unbox this and I was like, am I confused? Did we use this for a project last week? No, I, did, I hadn't opened it yet. Somebody went to Menards, bought a brand new one, put their old one in here and then returned the new one. With, and that's just me being ignorant as far as, you know, checking checking it out before I, I bought it. I didn't think anything of it. I was like, cool, nail gun. So I can't use it. I mean, whether it works or not, I'm not sure. I assume if they returned it, it probably doesn't. Um, but I don't want to use it because I need to return it. Obviously, I'll get a brand new one. But I mean, not to hate on Menards, but like, come on, man. You, whoever's running customers, just take a peek in the box. You could say the same thing about me. I should have taken a peek in the box as well. Um, but with that being said, we don't have a nail gun. So we have been using screws, which works. But as far as like laying the decking down with screw guns is gonna take a long time. So we're gonna try to find a nail gun while we're there because there's a lot of decking. I mean, this is like, this is like the size of the deck in my backyard. This is like a normal size deck. It's giant and, it, and it's just, you gotta have the right tools for it. So with that being said, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna go grab some lunch and go get uh, hopefully a new nail gun and some bigger lag screws. And I think that should be it. We have all the wood still. We should be good to go. But this thing, this thing's a giant. It's gonna be interesting to see how heavy it is once it's kind of complete. If we're gonna even be able to move it or not, I'm not sure. You guys stay tuned. Boom, Millie. We got a new nail gun, my guy. We are back. We got some more screws, nails, bigger lag bolt. These guys right here in this thing. These should work for connecting our floats. Big old chungus, okay? Millie, that's big chungus. What makes you what makes you think that that's a toy? Yeah, that probably didn't taste very good, did it? So we've got these guys. These should definitely work. Basically all you gotta do is run them all the way through. Right there, we've got washers. Oh yeah, they fit nice and snug. All the way down, I mean, we should get, I don't know, three inches of just holding power. And then we also need to put these outside support brackets. That's what we're gonna work on next is these guys right here. So you can see we've got them clamped on. So what you gotta do is drill a pilot hole or not even a pilot hole, you just gotta drill a hole with a drill bit. And then you're gonna run the lag bolts through it, hammer it through, put a nut on that side, 
and then screw it in there so it's eight and that's what these guys are for right here, the frame hardware. So we're gonna do the frame hardware first, that way, cause you basically have to access the inside and then that way we'll put this on top and then screw these guys down, screw the joy support type things in and we really should be good. We should then be able to hopefully flip it, maybe potentially flip it and then start with the deck boards. And then we've got to work on the walkway, but it, it kind of, it seems like it's going slow in the beginning. Uh, I feel like we've been like, but getting the frame right, making sure everything kind of is kind of squared up, which it's not. Um, but trying to get it all kind of framed, but I think is the hardest part. Getting the deck boards on it and stuff should be fairly easy. So you guys stay tuned. <laughs> defeated the beefcakes we've been defeated folks this thing is heavier than X, folks i know a lot of you guys watching i mean it, it's pretty common sense to know it's heavy but i did not expect it for those of you guys that maybe build decks uh, for a living docks for a living or anything that is framed in treated water log two by sixes and there's a lot of them plus the floats which i mean i would say each float honestly probably weighs like 30 40 pounds probably i mean it doesn't seem much because it's big but like probably 30 40 pounds so you're probably talking, yeah, I don't know, somewhere in the range of uh, a couple hundred pounds for just the floats. Um, Pool Jet and I could barely get it six inches off the ground, let alone flip the whole thing over and poof, like that to put the decking on it. I mean, we sat here for like the last hour and tried to brainstorm how we're going to make it happen. Um, and we really don't actually, I mean, let me, I'll, I'll show you guys what our plan is. I, and by the time this video comes out, it's probably going to be too late for you guys to give us suggestions, but I'll kind of illustrate our plan. Uh, and, but I mean, for the meantime, just to accomplish something, we are going to attempt to frame and add the floats to the walkway. So the walkway, to give you guys a visual, is essentially this piece right here. So we ended up kind of messing up our, our measurements here and added, 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 English is tough, had to add an extra two by six because it didn't make it to here for this middle one. It's just because our, basically, we just expected these to be 12 foot long and they weren't, they were like 12 and a half. So we ended up having to throw an extra board here, but essentially this is it. But if you take this board right here, all this over here, this is the walkway. So this is 12 feet long by four feet wide. That is our plan for the walkway. I mean, it's pretty wide. It's gonna give you lots of space. That way you don't fall off and go into Narnia. Nobody wants that. And you'll pretty much be good to go. So, oh yeah, with that being said, we need to, I'm gonna show you guys my ideas and how to do this, but it's probably not gonna work. We gotta redraw it. Okay, so essentially we've got a dock 12 by 12, right? There's our dock. This thing needs to be flipped 180. So what we're planning on doing is attaching some type of like chain right there. And then we're gonna have something that I call the mini excavator, okay? So this guy looks about like this, okay? He's got this arm that kind of comes up like this and he goes like this and then 
that's Papa Beefcake sitting in there running on the sticks. So what I'm planning on doing is running a chain to here and then basically pulling the claw back this way, which is then going to rotate the whole thing up. It's kind of hard without like a 3D image, but essentially like if this is the dock, okay? Give you guys visualizations here. If this is the dock and it needs to be flipped like this, here's the excavator. There's gonna be a claw and then like a chain and it's gonna grab it. So it's gonna make this and it's gonna pull it and the whole thing's gonna flip and then boom. And then we're gonna lay the decking on it and then we gotta somehow pick it up from there and put it up on a trailer. So that's the plan, um, but I don't have my mini excavator. One of my buddies is borrowing it. He's had it for the last few weeks. If you guys haven't seen it in the videos, that's why. He's been digging out a whole foundation for a house. So he's supposed to bring it back. I thought it was today. Could be tomorrow, which is fine um, because we got some other work to do. So, I mean, that's probably our best bet. Skid loader is another option, which I don't have. He's also got my skid loader um, because you can take pallet forks and stick it under and lift it up. I would tell you guys to comment ideas down in the comment section down below on how to flip it. But by the time this video comes out, I've already done it. So hopefully I can figure it out. I'm really hoping. So, I mean, it is, you could probably do it with humans if you had like six beefcakes, maybe six. It'd, be it'd still be pretty tough. You, uh, The best way to do it would be have a pulley system. If I had like a, a steel I-beam in this building with a pulley system and then use the winch from a mule or a four-wheeler to then flip it up, but we don't have anything to hang a winch from or even a pulley like these. I don't trust these rafters at all for something that heavy. I mean, I'm telling you, this thing's thousands of pounds. I know how much me and, me and Pool Jack can lift and we didn't even budge this thing. So with that being said, we are gonna put a pause on the dock platform and we are gonna work on the walkway, which is going to, like I said, be, actually, here we go. Big illustration guy here. Here's your walkway. I know I already showed you this, but it's gonna be four feet by 12 feet, okay? And then this is gonna be land, okay? So the, your land's probably gonna come to about here. And then this is where it's gonna connect to the other side of the dock. And so then you're gonna wanna float like about here, and then you're gonna wanna float like here or something like that, if that makes sense. So with that being said, let's get started. We did it, folks. Look at that. That went a lot quicker. It took us like 10 minutes, maybe. Oh, that was easy. I that like one, easy. that one, I don't know why. It's like the same thing, just larger, but it seemed, for some reason, just takes forever. Uh, but so here's the walkway. So now you actually get a pretty good visual, visualization. Yeah, well, English is tough. This will be connected there, so it'll be scooted up a little bit. Big dock, nice big walkway. And then we didn't put any floats over here because this is gonna be land. So you're gonna have it basically be on land. You're gonna jump on it. Once it's like deeper water, your floats are gonna kick in and you're good. I mean, this is huge, dude. Like, look at this. It's the size, like, it's the size. So I guess it'd be what, 24 feet. Yeah, 20, yeah, 24 feet long. That thing's a behemoth. I mean, it's massive for just a little old pond. And well, yeah, I know. We might be regret making it this big, but I mean, if, if we can at least, if we can get it flipped over, I'm confident that we can get a deck, which is gonna add a ton of weight. So we need to probably do that on the trailer. Our plan is put it on that trailer there, on the side rails, strap it down, take that gate off, and then back that thing in like a boat and just get all the boys to push as hard as they can. Just shove it in the water and hope it floats. And if it doesn't float, well, you're pretty much out of luck at that point. So I am gonna see if Pulljet and I can flip this one. We're not going to deck it today because I wanna basically deck everything one day, just get it all knocked out. But we will see if we can flip this right now. And that way we know, you know, at least we can get this deck. That one on the other hand is gonna be a little bit more challenging. So wish us luck. Oh yeah, oh, wow. oh God, we're freaking huge. Oh, my we're huge, my guy. Oh, we're not there. Rip. Tool talk about it. Yeah, let's see if we can lay it down. Oh god, yeah. Oh god! Oh, wow, look at that. See, this is how I expected it to go. That, that's a beast. We might be cutting that sucker in half. No, then, we got yeah, it. Really? No, we got it. We cut her in half, flip her over, stitch her back together like a little band-aid, and we'll be good to go. I like that. This is neat. You like that? Yeah, this is good stuff. This is like a gawk in and of itself. Yeah. And then there's that. Dude, just imagine walking. It's so big and wide. This is crazy. Big Chungus dock. We gotta bring Chungus on. The we dock. gotta bring Chungus on the dock. Chungus can hang out and fish with us off Dale the dock. Come fish with Dale, see all the animals. We could probably even put Carol on here. This thing could support all that. Well, folks, we are gonna end today's video here um, because, well, we don't really have any further to go. I mean, could we deck this right now? Yeah, but I mean, we kind of want to just do it all at one time and get it knocked out the right way. It is a heavy son of a gun. We need banjo and about 10 banjos to come out to help us flip these things. I don't know what the strat is. I'm hoping I get my equipment back, at least the excavator 
elevator. I would love to have the skid loader as well. Um, I hopefully can get that back in a couple days. And then we'll work on flipping it. Like I said, decking it, putting it on the trailer, and then launching it. It may, it may take, I mean, it might take another week, folks. This has been a heck of a project. I literally was like, boys, why don't we just go build a quick dock for a day, make a dope video, and we got a fishing dock. Meanwhile, it's been two weeks, and we've got this. And we're probably going to be about another two weeks before it's finished. And then we still have to haul it all the way down there and get it set up and stake it down and put the poles in and the anchors and all the other fun stuff that goes along with docks. And then once it's about to freeze, you got to pull it all out. So it's just, we ain't pulling it out. How do you pull it out? You don't. You don't. No. So don't. it's just it's a botch. Fine. It's just an absolute botch. This is, some might call it a waste of time and money. I call it making content for you guys. What's wrong? You know what we didn't do yet? What? There's corner pieces. We oh, oh really? So we got to do that before we put uh, all, all the, all the, you know. I thought we were done. I was like, wow, why was that so easy? This is definitely, definitely way too easy. Anyways, you guys don't, I mean, you guys get the point of how to build this. I didn't really vlog much of it, I know. Um, I figured it was pretty self-explanatory. I mean, these are literally two by 12s as the frame. So, you know, you bolt on the, the floats. There's really not much complex to it. Uh, is complexity a word? I think it is. Um, there's not much, and which is why I like building. I love, like, this is my favorite thing to build. Like this, tree houses, sniper towers, because it's, it's very simple. You use, you know, wood runs this way, and then you've got posts and like, or floats, one of the two. It's pretty easy, but for some reason, we always seem to mess it up. So with that being said, we will catch you guys on the next episode of attempting to flip this thing over and get it decked up and then head down to the pond. You guys stay tuned. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. This whole thing needs to flip so we can put the deck boards on it. Right now it is sitting upside down.